Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a flight plan in Flightline. So, what's gonna be in this video? This video is gonna be broken up into three parts. Learning waypoints, creating a flight plan, and flying the flight plan. I hope this video will help you understand how to be lazy, because that's basically what a flight plan lets you do. You just click a button, and it flies the flight for you. So, yeah. But without further, further ado, let's get on to making and flying a flight plan. Okay, so, um, we're gonna try and understand waypoints now. So, uh, I'm on the Flightline ERC Low map. Link for this will be in the description. You need this to create flight plans or else you're kind of screwed. Because you need the waypoints, um, to know, like, where you're going. And, yeah. So, so what are waypoints? Waypoints are things you input into your flight plan to tell the plane where to go and, um what to achieve before you like reach that waypoint. So let's say I want um, to leave Tofen Bridge, which is here, and I want to go to waypoint Xerxes. So all of these like triangles here um, are waypoints. And then all of these lines are um, like between waypoints, I guess. I don't know, whatever. Um, so I'm taking off from Tofen Bridge and I want to be at 2,500 feet at 225 knots uh, bef when or before I get to waypoint Xerce. So what I do is when I'm in my flight plan, I, I input Xerce and I, I set the altitude to 2,000 and the speed to 2,500 that, that, ne that needs to be achieved before Xerce. Now let's say I want to go to Heckler after Xerce. But I want to be at 5,000 feet, then I can just make us, and then I can just do when I get the heckler, I want to be at 5,000 feet. This will make more sense once you see how the flight plan system works. I'm going to assume that you might have the game open right now, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, so understanding this map a bit more would be pretty helpful. So there's not much that you really need to understand. You just need to understand all the waypoints, like what they look like and where the airports are. So all these like little greet, like, um, I don't know what to call them. I mean, all of them are like pointed out here. So there's Connor view here. There's Tofen here. There's, um, Del Arroyo down here. And then there's uh, well and Soul square here. But all you need to know is that these are air air airports and, um, yeah, basically and in the waypoints. So let's, uh, let's move on to actually creating a flight plan. Okay, so I'm at Tofen, and I found a good spawning spot. I picked an aircraft and stuff. You should... It, it, yeah, whatever. So... Um, after I've picked all my aircraft spawning spot and stuff, I don't click spawn, I click create new flight plan, and this thing pops up. So, what do we do with this thing? It has a whole bunch of buttons, like it says 10,000 feet here, 250 knots, plus APPR. These two lines, current heading, set waypoint. So we're gonna go to set waypoint. I'm gonna do um, the flight of, in a second, there we go. Tofen, I'm gonna do Tofen Bridge to uh, Del Arroyo because yes. So um, I think I'm going to go from Tofen Bridge 09 or no, take off from 27 right, I guess. So heading this way, head straight up to Xerce, to Heckler, to Grade, and then into um, 36 uh, right is, yeah. So I'm gonna go like this, 
and this, and then come in and land over here. Epic. Sounds good. So, now that we're in the game, we need to start picking out our waypoints. So, we need to find the first waypoint that we're going to go to. What's the first waypoint that we're going to go to? Well, if we're going to go this way, the one closest is Xerxes. So, we're going to pick Xerxes here. Obviously, because I just took off, I don't want to go to 10,000 feet immediately. Okay, so let's pick a nice altitude. 2,500 should be fine. Let's go 225 knots, so 225 knots, just so we're not super fast when we take off. And now that is our first waypoint set up. So we go directly to Xerxes and we need to achieve 2,500 feet at 225 knots before we get to Xerxes. Now, I click the plus button and now it says revise flight plan set waypoint so let's set another waypoint let's go back to our um erc low map and we can see that from xerc we're gonna go to heckler so our next waypoint is gonna be heckler it's it should be here if you want another waypoint you can find it down here but these ones are close so heckler and by the way, if you if you want to go from a waypoint to a waypoint, but it's not in the like um the near this waypoint thing, it doesn't mean you can't go there. Like um sometimes I go from Tink or Tinky, I don't know which one it, what it is, to a Nerg. Um a Nerg isn't actually near Tinky at all, but it's it still works. So, yeah. So I want to go a bit higher when I get to uh, um, Xerxes and go up to Heckler. So let's go to 4,000 feet and let's speed up to 250 knots. So now we have a different um, thing to maintain when we get to Heckler. So from Xerxes, we're going to start ascending from 2,500 feet to 4,000 feet and pick up speed to go 250 knots. Let's plug press the plus button again and let's set another waypoint so if we see here we're gonna go heckler down to grade so let's go and pick grade and we want to start descending so let's descend back to 2500 feet and slow down to let's go 220 knots now because we have finished getting all of our waypoints together now we need to get the approach and landing set up. So over here, we're gonna press the APPR button. Now we're gonna set the runway of choice. So we're gonna go three, six, right. The one unfortunate thing is, is that um, it doesn't show you the runways on, uh, the only one where it shows you like where exactly the runways are is well install so these like triangles here are the localizer so basically these will take you in and land you on the runway if you hit the localizer but that's the whole other story if that made no sense well whatever you don't have to worry about it so um just based on experience the runway so grade comes in um here and then the runways are like to the side so like each side of grade so what we're gonna want to do is where it's here where it says current heading we're going to want to um make that so that it's it's going to intersect the runway so that we can get the localizer and what the localizer does is it um like the localizer and the ils so the localizer will take us in and land us right on the runway. So that that's what we want to have happen. So um, here it says um, grade is when we when we come out of grade we're at um, like 341 degrees. So we're, what we're gonna want to do here in the current heading tab is set our um, make our current heading 
just enough to intersect, um, like, go not necessarily right in, right straight down, 3, 6, right, but just to the, like, diagonally, so we not, we won't actually hit the runway, like, or, like, land, or come even close to it, but we will get the localizer, which will then turn us onto the course for the runway. So let's, um, so let's set our, uh, thing for 20, 20 degrees. So now we're going to go 20 degrees, and I'll put up a graphic on the screen or something. So we're going to come in 20 degrees, the runway's at 360 degrees, when we, when, if we're passing by the runway, then, um, the localizer will catch us, and then we'll turn, and then head in for the runway. So we should be good. Now we just should go descend to 1,000 feet, and we can slow down to 180 knots for landing. Hopefully it works. Sometimes it doesn't, but that's probably because I just screwed up the flight plan. So now, when you're done, execute. Make sure you execute, or it won't work. So, um, yeah, let's spawn in. And we're in. So, what should we do uh, to set up our aircraft for this? Let me just unmute Roblox. There we go. Cool, now we can hear it. So, we should turn on Flight Director. So, what Flight Director does is it comes up with, the, with two, like, purple lines when you go to, um, like, take off and stuff. As soon as you take off, these two purple lines appear. And, um, when the two purple lines are, like, in your crosshair, so it's kind of like the example of the ILS here. Let's just set our ILS because we need that. But, uh, this is, like, the crosshair here. These purple lines need to be in the middle. But they won't be on the ILS, they'll be on, like, your, uh, GUI where it shows you, like, your pitch and your whatever. It shows you the stuff. You'll understand when we get to the runway. So, uh, I'm just gonna make a cut. Um, and we're gonna be on the runway. So, uh, yeah, see you in a second. Okay, so we're on the runway. We are, um, ready, about to take off. Let's just request clearance from tower. Let's go. Okay. Toga. I had to wait, like, 30 seconds for that. That was, like, annoying. Eighty knots. V one. Rotate. Okay, see the, this purple marker. God, can we get off the runway? Thank you. Gear up. Okay. So we want to keep this purple marker right in the middle of our screen where the like little plus icon is. Why why G4? Why why now? Whatever. So if we keep that in the middle of our screen, then we should be fine. Now we wanna also maintain our speed. That is definitely gonna bring us down. So now what we can do is we can turn on autopilot and auto thrust and just sit back and relax and enjoy the flight. So uh, yeah, I'll see you when we um, when we get to our next waypoint and I'll show you what happens. Okay, so we're approaching our next waypoint. Right now we're at 225 knots and we are at. Uh, um, 2,500 feet, so we're one point, there we go, now, now our next waypoint is Heckler, we just hit Xerxes-ish, kind of, so our plane just turned, now our, um, speed is set to, uh, 250, and our altitude is climbing to 4,000 feet, as you can see, the autopilot does a great job of keeping us on course, okay, I'll see you when we come in, and we, um, when we're about, when we pass grade. Okay, so, we're passing grade. 
Now we are turning to heading 20. So we can pick up the localizer for 3, 6, and right, which is where my mouse is right now. So I'm heading to 2. Oh, wait, no. We, yeah, we've been picked up. So now we're aligning ourselves to heading 360. And now, now we're lined up with the runway. And now we can basically just sit here for the rest of our, um, like for the rest of our flight. We should be descending though, that's the problem. This the thing is that it doesn't descend, so um we descend for it. Unless it doesn't want me to, to descend. No it does, it definitely does, it definitely does. Oh yeah, we are very high. Don't 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 mind me. Don't don't mind me, I'm such a horrible pilot. Just gonna put our flaps down. Nobody saw that. We're not sinking. We're totally fine, right? Right? Flaps full. One hundred. It, it should it should take you down. I don't know why it doesn't though. We're gonna not stall. One hundred fifty. Ten. And butter. Butter. That was amazing. And I just. Did that epic. Cool. That was that was a butter landing. Very 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 butterization. That words, yes words. Um, but um, didn't stay center line. But I hope you understand how this works now to an extent. I don't know why it doesn't take you down from a thousand feet. It should, but I. I don't even know so sometimes you will have to disengage auto thro auto throttle and autopilot and uh, take it down yourself in a very realistic way as I just demonstrated just all of the feet per minute but that, that I think that's gonna do it for this video I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you on the next video bye